Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm very happy to have you here and be able to address you as a chair of S3. And also to show that the activities at the European level are extremely relevant for the situation in the Czech Republic as well. I'm happy I did prepare, or I had prepared the presentation before, and had I not done that, it would uh, seem that I'm just, uh, you know, repeating what had already been said. But that means that uh, the Czech um, research infrastructures and research community is up to the mark or up to European standards, and I dare say that as to arise, uh, Czech uh, Republic belongs uh, to the uh, sort of uh, um, good uh, practice. So we are some sort of pioneers in the uh, exploitation of ASIF for funding the research infrastructure the renewal, sustainability, etc., our strategic planning with respect to large um, RIs and uh, that in relation to other structural policies, just like their funding or financing is extremely progressive if you compare it uh, against other European countries. Well, uh, research infrastructures have been actively involved uh, in the fight uh, against uh, COVID, uh, but not only at the national, but uh, European level as well. I'll be short, perhaps even shorter than I had intended. Uh, since we heard a lot from Mr. Haiduk already, I'll simply share with you the European perspective. By way of introduction, let me say, and I simply decided to use as the title uh, the motto of our today's conference, but since I am convinced that the research infrastructures are uh, a part of uh, the critical infrastructure of the state. Well, now, uh, briefly refresh your memories to S3. S3 is uh, the European Strategy Forum on our eyes. It is not a part and part of the European Commission. It is not a program committee of Horizon or any other European programs. S3 simply is a platform a platform forum where delegates uh, representing the individual member states of the EU associated countries and the Commission share or exchange opinion, uh, uh, lead strategic debates, issue opinions to crucial issues of uh, pan-European significance and also to a certain degree uh, share in um, developing or drawing up national policies. ESFRA is a unique, so to say, forum, uh, since it uh, is a combination of the administrative um, perception of policy making with uh, scientific expertise. And uh, we have uh, strategy, strategic groups to support us in the activities. Many of you are participating in these uh, teams or task forces. And these make sure that the policy making or the, the policy related debates are really um, supported by knowledge. More than 300 experts 
uh, are involved in ASFRID operations and uh, the uh, recommendations we issue, I believe, are highly relevant. Ever since 2006, ESFRI has been uh, publishing or issuing the roadmap to um, research uh, infrastructures. And this is the role that we have always uh, been fully devoted to. So even though we do not have a budget, or ESFRI doesn't have a budget of its own, and yet more than 20 billion euro from national sources um, was spent uh, to support the building of uh, our eyes and also indirectly we simply support operating costs uh, in the amount of 1.5 billion euro annually. ESFRI, I mean, does its best to support um, uh, the functioning and interlinked ecosystem of research infrastructure capable to support um, the uh, efforts to identify um, the science-based solutions of societal challenges. And um, we have already heard how relevant it is. So we should certainly continue with these activities as free is a unique, as I've said, uh, body uh, since there is uh, this policy making, administrative expertise, scientific expertise, and all together we can provide the European scientists and researchers with the best conditions, background, and infrastructure for top quality fundamental or applied um, research. One, but not the only so, uh, output is uh, the other roadmaps on research infrastructures. But it is important to say that as free offers its uh, policy-making know-how, scientific expertise uh, to the ministers, to those ministers who wish to receive it or to any member state that uh, invites that either upon their initiative or its own initiative. We have um, compiled several manuals or publications or handbooks simply on a number of things like innovation, potential of uh, research infrastructures, solutions and recommendations to guarantee sustainability of our eyes, or reports on e-infrastructures, etc. In uh, the last year, we have um, exerted a very um, intensive efforts to make uh, a poll to draw up uh, the booklet, Making Science Happen, in uh, which is uh, aimed at uh, our eyes uh, functioning in Europe. And that's a summary of one year's debate on the role of uh, research infrastructures, not only for the renewal of European research era here, a, but also for the benefit of national strategies. We do present arguments proving the significance of our eyes for the uh, other policies um, besides uh, policy government research. And in the Czech Republic, 
that is uh, significant. We got to understand that sooner than uh, some other European countries. Uh, the so-called sectoral platforms is a good example. This help the Ministry of Education is supposed to conceive or rather to draw up uh, the respective policies in broader context. This is a summary, nothing new, no uh, rediscovering of America, but um, we led uh, numerous discussions uh, within S3, and most of the things covered here have already been talked upon. RI, which do constitute one of the basic pillars of the ERA, European Research um, Era, and to provide uh, science and research with services, or top sciences. RI is also uh, are not merely investments uh, in production, these are strategic investments across sectoral policies, which fully support uh, both the national and European economies. Now, our eyes, uh, I mean both European and na national, do profit from synergies of European national and regional priorities and do play a major role in improving life in several areas, not only better quality health care, but uh, climate uh, change-related issues, drought, floods, energy, uh, and also energy security, transport, migration, health, etc. Now, to go back to the title of my presentation, I dare say that functioning ecosystem of rise is the best answer to, or perhaps solution, of any potential crises or emergencies to come. And this has been clearly proven by COVID-19. The environment in which our eyes cooperate uh, shows how important uh, is the data portability, robust data infrastructure development, including technological infrastructure background, because that's a must in order to become prepared and ready to deal with any or cope with any societal challenges. Now, this is a bit of a uh, political message. Uh, our eyes are of major socioeconomic benefit, economic benefit, and benefit for the society in general. Unfortunately, though, there are not many studies right now proving the multiplication factors or multipliers of social impacts of our rise on the general level. These are being uh, and uh, fine tuning, or these have not yet been fine tuned, so we shall uh, have access to the uh, conclusion next year. Only San is a typical example of our shows the direct economic um, effects of such a infrastructure of more or less fundamental research are huge. And now, briefly, on S3 in the fight against COVID or in reaction to COVID. I shall cut it short because Mr. Hajduk already uh, had said uh, many of the things uh, I have in my presentation. S3, as well as the associated research infrastructures, have been heavily impacted by 
COVID-19. Some had to change operations or plenary session, for instance, was cancelled and the conference was uh, actually not uh, carried out. That was under the Croatian um, presidency. We only had digital form. Uh, virtual conference. Also, the deadlines for proposals uh, as pre for as pre roadmap proposals was extended until uh, the um, 9th of September. And we witnessed in many cases an immediate uh, mobilization or activation of uh, researchers or research infrastructures. They immediately started offering services uh, for the um, fight against COVID-19 pandemic. As early as uh, the beginning of March, we launched an information campaign that in updated people on the response of s arise on the uh, on their services and access to these services. It was very much in demand, the service that is, which is why in the mid of March um, we launched a dedicated web and in a couple of days more than uh, 80 uh, infrastructures actually offer their capacities um, in uh, the open source uh, mode. I'm gonna skip that since we heard about the prompt response of individual research infrastructures, the uh, anti-COVID programs, uh, diagnostic procedures, etc. Next three slides, and I'll merely touch upon that briefly. I wish to introduce you to several examples, including the dates, um, the speed of promptness of this. And this was done by random, so I apologize to all those who have not been picked. Uh, to be on these slides, I wish to thus uh, illustrate the activities uh, done by research infrastructures across uh, the individual research areas. Um, it involves both national and European research infrastructures in health and food. No wonder there was the fastest response. On 20th of March already, address Ekrin BBMRI, and we have already heard those um, abbreviations. Uh, the setting up of um, Alliance of Medical Research Infrastructures, and they have simply uh, provided open access to all their data sets or files. In a similar way, Erenia, which deals with uh, highly infectious diseases, free their capacities and know-how, uh, whether in uh, the field of diagnostics or crisis management, uh, their protocols for preclinical vaccine testing, or, and thus so they also helped uh, uh, the effective uh, addressing of uh, COVID. Then uh, humanities uh, and social sciences, that means cultural and uh, social innovation infrastructures in that field. 
conducted many studies, dedicated studies is happening. Con are continuing, and uh, thanks to that, we shall have a very abundant database uh, which will help us better understand the impacts of uh, crisis of COVID type. Other research infrastructures also offered uh, their capacities, access to um, computing resources or data in uh, the field or in the fight against COVID. These were uh, computing resources, uh, biobanks, disco, which uh, actually are collections of natural science uh, museums uh, offered access to one trillion of biological samples and enabled its, uh, I mean, availability. It simply enabled access and uh, exploration or studying of those in order to better understand uh, COVID lessons learned. Nothing um, almost um, ashamed to even read it. I, I hesitate to read it. I'm convinced that research infrastructures uh, are not only strategic uh, investments helping the competitiveness uh, achieve competitive national and european economy but it also is recovered or pays back since it does um, broaden dynamics, flexibility of response to any type of a crisis whatsoever. I therefore summed up part of the recommendations uh, ensuing from debates within ESRI Forum and also discussions or debates with our stakeholders during a number of conferences, workshops, and exchange of written documents. In order to manage or cope with any other future potential crises, uh, which certainly will occur, we have to support science, um, research institutes um, sufficiently. We also have to put up a platform or forum enabling multi-sectoral cooperation, knowledge sharing, uh, and integration of the whole system. Simply, we have to get uh, running or functioning an efficient and effective ecosystem which will enhance or boost the readiness or rather preparedness to promptly respond. So, the links uh, between infrastructures uh, and e-infrastructures EOSC, that is cloud, um, is um, essential as well. It's more than obvious. But we also should, should uh, fully utilize other disciplines, other science disciplines. We should set up a forum or platform facilitating communication with the society and to foresee, in a way, or anticipate the behavior and thus uh, prevent fake news. Also, we should um, establish a long-lasting bilateral relationships with the politicians or political sphere there, over and above the policy making. Uh, well, that's it. Thank you.